Hello, welcome back to The Good, The Bad and The Stupid. It's Thursday, October the 10th. Hopefully you've had a good day. Uh, starting a little bit late today because I've had to juggle my work commitments around the rain. That's Wayne juggling work around the rain. Shit ton twister there for you. Also shit weather we've been having and it's forecast for the next four to five days. So embrace it. Get out, get your rubber gear on, get out and enjoy it. Uh, not that kind of rubber gear. Get your all weather gear on and go for a nice stroll in the rain. We're used to it by now. Otherwise, get your junk food ordered and get in front of the TV. Do whatever, whatever it is that uh, you enjoy on a nice rainy day. Um, you might soon not be able to order junk food by the way that things are going because the, the news of the day is that they're trying to ban junk food from public transport, from advertising, putting biscuits in plain wrappers, banning pies at football grounds and so on and so on. It's a bit ridiculous really, it is the nanny state, but uh, I do agree with a lot of it, but at the same time, you've got to educate people to eat healthier food. Or you, could just put, you can't just tell people not to eat pies at football grounds, why don't you just make the pies healthier at football grounds? You know, there's lots of people selling healthy fast food, Go to any street food market around the country. There's plenty of people, entrepreneurs, making loads of really good food uh, alternatives of pies, chips, fucking all the so-called junk foods. There's healthier versions of it. Anyway, that's my opinion. I can get on board with uh, uh, the public transport thing, though. If you've ever sat next to some pissed-up geezer fucking eating one of those Japanese katsu curry things from one of those takeaways uh, and... The smell of it and the, the sound of him eating it is no fun at all for the consumer that's not consuming, so to speak. But apart from that, you can't tell people what to do. What are you going to do? Arrest people for eating a chocolate biscuit on the train or kick them off? It's never going to work. So uh, really, you just got to kind of let there be healthy food in places where people are likely to order food. And then it probably solve the problem. Um, instead of jump fucking Donna Kebab shops part you know miles of of don donna kebab shops and pizza shit pizza shops and whatever else uh there's more uh more great food out there than you think um anyway it's got on to shitter news and that is uh, uh rebecca vardy and colleen rooney are having a spat over uh leaked information about colleen rooney to the sun newspaper um why uh Rebecca Vardy apparently has been caught out by some super sleuth uh, work by Colleen Rooney. Um, this story, I'm not really that interested in it, but I like the fact that well, she's caught her out by cancelling everybody off her Instagram account and then leaving just her available to see what these stories, which were fake stories she, she was putting out. And uh, all these stories ended up in the Sun newspaper. So that Rebecca Vardy's apparently been leaking the stories to the, to the Sun. Why you would do that to the Sun newspaper where they would fucking throw you under the bus as soon as the shit story came out about you. I would never know, but uh, who knows? I mean, these people, she's got more money than fucking cents anyway, so why would you need to sell anything to the sun? It's obviously kind of uh, some kind of meow, bitchy cat move, but come back to bite you, unless it's not true, because she's denying it, but uh, you'd have to prove it because it looks like you've been caught red-handed there. Um, anyway, let's get on to better news more interesting news and that is the bow bow tie wearing dash hound who has become an internet celebrity thanks to his talent for balancing objects on his head told you it's a much more interesting story sausage dog harlslow won an international 2019 webby award whatever they are uh, where his videos went viral showing his trick of balancing donuts carrots biscuits and toilet rolls on his head the, the people asked his owner how we trained his dog to do it. He said, I've no idea. Uh, he just does it. But obviously you're balancing the shit on his head. He's just sitting still and wondering what the hell's going on. Um, I'll show a picture to the video version. Podcast, imagine a dog with three donuts on his head. And the next picture, imagine a dog with about 25 biscuits piled up like the Tower of Pizza on his head. Does the dog get to eat them afterwards? Otherwise, that's quite cruel. Uh, but also, uh, you'll be probably arrested for feeding the dog junk food if the way the uh, situation is going sooner or later with this uh, nanny state business. Anyway, cute looking dog, holes though. You'd have to check him out on the internet if you uh, want to find out uh, more about him. Um, 
Well, next in the news is somebody has found one of these ship versions. You know, I mean, somebody sees the picture in the food or see, somebody's spotted Osama bin Laden in the creases in his curtain. And they took a picture of it and sold it to, wait for it, the sun. That's right, the sun loves these stories. The pictures that look like something, even though they look nothing like it. Somebody's got a picture of uh, Osama bin Laden in the crease of their curtain. Looks nothing like him. Uh, and then somebody else has sent another one, which is uh, a seashell that apparently looks like Osama bin Laden. Looks nothing like him. In fact, it looks like a big, large toenail, if anything. So unless you're saying Osama bin Laden looks like a toenail, um, then it doesn't look like him, does it? So well, there you go. Somebody else who doesn't look like uh, himself is Simon Cowell. He's actually changed the appearance that much over his... Uh, Botox endeavours that he actually doesn't actually look like himself so much so that they've had to change his wax work at the Madden Two Swords to look like the person that he now looks like which isn't him so the wax work model just looks like a, a weird fucking cockeyed melted face version of Simon Cowell so to speak which is kind of looking a little bit like the real version of him or the new version of him should I say Tongue twisted this one, um, and you know what I'm trying. You know, you get what I'm trying to say. So, uh, if you want to go and see something that doesn't look like Simon Cowell, you'd have to get yourself down to Madden Two Swords, um, Cadbury's, the parent company. Cadbury's parent company has paid just two hundred seventy-one thousand pounds in tax in the UK, despite one point seven billion pound of of sales so uh, that's just ridiculous if you work that out on a percentage that is next to nothing compared to what you're paying uh, uh, in tax based on percentages that is so um, there you go uh, what somebody needs to do is tell them we're gonna ban you and your junk food unless you start paying your tax because uh, that must be multi multi millions of pounds that they're getting away with in some safe tax haven in Switzerland apparently uh, and people are getting away with that. The governments are letting that shit happen. So there's got to be backhanders going on. Um, you know, that is multi-million pounds of taxpayers' money that's not fixing fucking potholes. I slammed into a pothole and nearly went fucking down an embankment earlier today. So, um, you know, that shit is for stuff like that and it ain't being done. And speaking of potholes, I want to take a leaf out of these... Uh, uh, town in uh, Mexico where a mayor, a mayor who was elected uh, uh, on the back of his promises to fix shit like the roads and potholes and all this kind of stuff, didn't do it, said the money wasn't available, corruption, and they broke into his office, tied him to the on a rope to the back of a truck and dragged him down the streets that he hasn't fixed over the potholes and everything and uh, dragged him around and he didn't get killed so... That's why I can laugh at it, but imagine that. That's they don't fuck around in Mexico, and imagine them doing that to somebody in this uh, in this country. It's coming the way things are going. You look at the way people are uh, rebelling and uh, and fighting over this Brexit. As soon as shit gets worse, you know this kind of thing is going to start to uh, you know people start taking things into their own hand, didn't they? People have already started drawing penises around potholes, making people, the, cover, the the government, to come and fix it. Or, in fact, they're just going and rubbing the penis out, aren't they? But they make, they're giving you extra work anyway, so why don't you just fix the pothole instead of fucking scrubbing the penis out? Anyway, somebody who uh, has got to worry about these kind of things is the bloke who's won £170 million in the lottery. Euro Millions jackpot. People are searching for who is it because he hasn't owned up yet. But if I was him, Keep stum. I don't know how you're going to keep stum with 170 million quid, but change your face. There's a face. There's there's room for somebody to look like Simon Cowell now because Simon Cowell doesn't look like him. So you can change your face to go and look like him. You've actually officially now uh, more wealthy than Ed Sheeran and Adele. Ed Sheeran and Adele, they've got that much money: 160 million and 150 million respectively. But anyway, 170 million quid. Get off and enjoy yourself uh, somewhere. Disappear. Don't let anybody know about it. Um, and uh, obviously get your, your nearest and dearest. But, um, you know, you don't know Rebecca Vardy. So hopefully somebody won't leak it to the newspaper for you. But um, that's going to be 
you know, you're set up for life, ain't you? But is it could be a curse that amount of money? I don't know. 170 million pound. Um, I think you could learn to live it. You could learn to love it. I'm sure uh, it's definitely going to be better than if you're in a shit job. The best thing is if it's like a cleaner or somebody in like a really fucking shit job, and uh, you know. Their life's just going to change for fucking for the better. Well, if you are, feed the finish the potholes around your way because uh, your what's it called? Your um, friends and family around those areas are probably getting their cars all fucked up because uh, uh, the governments and the, the councils aren't doing it. Uh, and you're doing more a favour. Be the like the uh, Robin Hood. Don't tell them who you are. Just sort it out, and they'll be fucking very very happy about it for you. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to uh, the guy who held up a McDonald's um, with a, a bloke who held up a McDonald's, one of the worst places you could think of holding them up, uh, forced to buy a 99 pence cheeseburger because the terrified worker said he couldn't open the till otherwise. So he's held up the place and he's had to give him some money to fucking buy a cheeseburger so he could ring it into the till so then he could give him the money out of the till. Anyway, he's been nicked and uh, I don't think he, he didn't even get that much. What, what they gave him? Um, he didn't have any weapon. He just basically suggested that uh, he was going to try and hold it up and they said he had a bra nervous breakdown. So I think he's got away with uh, a lesser sentence than an armed robbery, but that's got to be embarrassing because uh, his pictures in the paper and everything. So... Uh, Anyway, um, shame for you. Uh, where, where am I? A pilot scheme to give drug addicts two free doses of heroin a day will begin next week. Uh, this, the year-long project costing the public £250,000 in the first of its kind in the country. Uh, 15 users will be offered help for their addiction and other issues after they inject themselves in a clinic. That's the most sensible thing I've heard in ages. I mean, this is a long time coming. This should be something that is standard across the country anyway. Drug addicts are fucking having to do desperate things to get the drugs that they need. And they're doing it out on the streets and they're dying in the streets, homeless, or they're rubbing off their families or rubbing off fucking unsuspecting public. So, you know give them fucking what they need and help them and that's the best way to do it and it's been piloted in other countries and it's working so hopefully that is uh, going to take off across the country and that will deal with um, many many uh, social ills and uh, obviously it will stop people and uh, get people off heroin which is fucking scourge of uh, homeless people um, and you know um, nobody needs to be in that situation um, Gemma, stranger than TV. Uh, Gemma Collins, if you know who she is, I'm not going to explain it to you, believes she has psychic powers like Eleven from Netflix series Stranger Things. The diva says that her sixth sense grows stronger around the full moon. And the star now wants to use her powers to lure aliens to the Essex countryside and give them a big hug. Uh, Gemma told any ETs on her podcast, Aliens, if you can hear me, please, I've got lots of land here where we live. There you go. There's lots of green fields, landy UFOs here where I live. I want to talk to you. So she's obviously losing the plot. Uh, but anyway, are we really going to send Gemma Collins to talk to aliens if that's the case? We want to. Is that really going to be the first point of contact? Um, they really will fucking shoot us all if they think that is our uh, um, ne chief negotiator. So, please, aliens, listen to my podcast. Don't come and land and talk to uh, Gemma Collins. Let's get some sensible people to talk to you and talk about uh, how we can fix the climate problems and whatever else that we've got going on. Um, otherwise, you're just going to be eating junk food in Gemma Collins' mansion and next thing you know, you'll be fat aliens, you'll fly off, and you'll never want to fucking come back and visit us again, because you know the planet's going to go boom, and uh, it's not really worth your effort travelling light years across the world, or, or, or across the galaxy, if you like, to, um, to visit. What the hell am I talking about? Who knows? But you know what I'm trying to get at. Gemma Collins is not our... Uh, 
uh, ambassador for the earth, if that's the case. Um, anyway, vegans are arguing that meat, meat in the Tesco's, vegan meats, the, Tesco's are putting vegan food next to the meat section and the vegans are saying, why are you doing that? Because why do we want to, we're, we're vegans because we don't want to look at dead fucking animal flesh and whatever else, which is kind of correct, but they've said, v, Tesco's are saying that they're doing it because to encourage meat eaters to eat the non-meat food. So good argument on either side, but uh, the I can see the vegans point that they don't want to, pick off vegan meats next to fucking, you know, slices of, what's it called, um, steaks and chicken wings and all that kind of stuff because it's kind of uh, defeats the purpose, doesn't it? So uh, you'll have to have a separate aisle or you'll have to put two sets of vegan food, one for the meat eaters and one for the vegan eaters. Um, I don't actually eat meat, so uh, uh, but I can handle it, it being next to the meat things. If it's encouraging people to uh, to try something new, why not? We're talking about banning junk food, so maybe that will encourage people to uh, eat healthier uh, if you put healthy food next to the shit food. Um, anyway, uh, where did I go in? I've lost something here. Going to finish up on uh, a couple more things here. Uh, dear motorists were warned yesterday of an increased risk of catastrophic collisions with sexually excited deer. Uh, this is due to the, it being mating season, according to the Motoring Safety Charity. There was a video going around on the internet yesterday, I don't know if it was in England though, but of a deer smashing through the hairdressers, do you see that? It jumped, smashed straight through the hairdressers over a woman that was, uh, luckily for her, over the woman that was sitting in the um, waiting chair right in front of the window ran around the shop a bit and then fucking jumped straight back out of the window, smashing through the door. Weren't taking any prisoners. Luckily, nobody got hurt, but that was like... Watch it if you can find that video online. It was like fucking right shocking. And that deer, if that was uh, in mating season, then that was looking for sex. So it's lucky nobody did stand in his way. Um, yeah, that literally... Uh, so that's an unpleasant experience. So look out for... Uh, sexually active deer on the motorways, otherwise uh, you're going to come a cropper. And not just potholes that are dangerous out there, it's deer that want a shag. Um, right, going to finish up on one more thing, and that is uh, a bloke who, uh, self-confessed self idiot, who got a mate to squirt him in the eyes with a pepper spray. Where does he get the pepper spray from? I thought that was a firearm, so uh, he's probably fucking going to get nicked after putting these photos out. Anyway, he squ uh, got his mate to squirt him in the eye with a pepper spray because he didn't think it would hurt. Um, I've never felt pain, and his answer was, I've never felt pain like it. I've made a massive mistake. He said he could not see for 20 minutes. Um, or maybe he's made, maybe he's made himself one, but uh, uh, as far as I'm aware, that's fucking illegal stuff anyway. Anyway, he's like screaming his fucking head off and uh, <laughs> it just goes to show. I mean, that's there you go. It works. The police, when the police do it, it does work. So uh, you don't actually need the firearms like you get in uh, in America. You just need the pepper spray and the taser guns like we've got. Um, people do that, don't they? Anything with chilies. Have you seen some of these videos where they eat one of the hottest chilies? There was a couple of girls who ate one of a, a hot chili and the, the next video... Uh, after about a minute of her screaming her head off the next video or picture of her was in bed with, under a drip machine what's it called uh, in a hospital so you've got to be careful with these uh, chilies and whatever else and there was another guy who made a video and it was choking it was like fucking rolling around on the floor choking after eating one of the hottest chilli peppers going so people will try and make these videos try and get famous uh, um, but really you know, this guy has literally burnt his eyes out for 20 minutes and probably ruined his weekend. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh, uh, rambling mad today, but uh, we got through it. Hopefully you enjoy your weekend. Oh, I've got another one to do tomorrow anyway, so uh, I'll be back then. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you again tomorrow. See you later. Bye.